Well, hello. Welcome back. I'm Claire. This is Purple Poppy. And today I am working on my happiness and crafting design team project for September. I haven't gone totally mad. I am aware it's not September till tomorrow. But I reckon with everybody that watches across the globe, it'll be the 1st of September somewhere. So if you've got an early sneak peek, woo woo. So this month I am working with the Pink Butterfly Collection. And look at this, isn't it just delightful? So on this, it's a 12 pages in this kit. I will obviously put the description, uh, the link in the description box for you. This first page, various sized butterflies, roses, and some bluey flowers. I just think it's absolutely beautiful. It's got that lovely, delicate, vintage feel about it. Got some script coming in here as well. This one looks like music score sheets from a blank book. Giant butterfly in the middle there. Almost like transparent wings with those roses. That's the score sheet and the script. A little bit of everything on this one. Similar but over to one side. Again, the various size butterflies and the florals, script. I just think this is so delicate so vintage it's just beautiful so there's 10 pages and then you've got this ephemera fussy cut page and then oh actually i line nine pages the fussy uh the fussy cut makes 10 and then you've got two of the postcard size pages that g does in her kits and of course they're gorgeous as well so my plan for today with this delightful pink butterfly collection kit was to make multi pocket pages so i'm going to move out of the way the two postcard pages and the ephemera sheet for the moment because i don't need them for what we're going to be doing first off and i'm going to take that one um, I'm going to take that one because I want three pieces for what I'm doing here and that one. Right, so first job I'm going to do is I'm going to use these three pieces and I'm going to cut these down to six and a half inches um, because I want to use my envelope scoreboard to make envelope pockets. Now if you don't have a scoreboard um, there are many many videos on how to make envelopes and I would say to you the simplest one of all is to take an envelope that you have, gently slide something flat through, unglue it, and just draw around it. And use that as your template. That is gonna be the easiest and best way to create a template with what you have at home, okay? So, oops, nearly. So as always, I'm using my tear ruler to take the white bits off. I do like the jag of the edge, especially with the vintage pages. So, I'm taking all of them off, even though obviously a six by six is much, uh, six and a half page is much smaller than this eight by 11 or eight and a half by 11. 
Um, so I'm just trimming them off. It's very warm again. Those of you haven't realised yet, I'm not brilliant in the heat. I am much more of a cold person. I've got the fan going, but it doesn't seem to be working at the moment for some unknown reason. Well, no, it's working. It's just not having any major effect. <laughs> so, I trust everybody's okay. We have a great bank holiday weekend here in the UK. We've had um, a three-day weekend. It's the last one of the year now till we get into Christmas. So... Lots of people have been out and about, I imagine, because the weather wasn't too bad. It wasn't brilliant, but it wasn't too bad. Okay, so I've got my three sheets. I'm going to bring in my guillotine, and I'm going to cut six and a half. So, line it up to six and a half, and chop. Obviously, we will use that piece. And six and a half, and four. so there I've got a square. Okay, so that's one, and then I'm going this way because I want that butterfly. So six and a half, five, oh, bow. Now, now, come on, you know, Mummy's doing a video nice and quiet. A lot of movement in the street today. Okay, saving all those pieces, we can use all of them. Even these little ones, we can use for all the paper clips and all sorts of things. And then the third one for this project. Six and a half by six and a half. Perfect. So let's lift this down out of the way. Let's move our inks and bring in our envelope punch. Now for this one I need to score at two and three quarters. So two and three quarters. As I say, if you don't have a envelope punch bold just any envelope break it down and use that as your template to do a quick draw round job done okay so that's one it's very quick to do I do love this tool. Um, there's often conversations about tools that you've purchased that you wish you hadn't bothered. Um, I can't say I feel like that about this one. I love this tool, I use it all the time. Get rid of them pieces there and then just round off my points on the two larger sides. And then obviously I need to bring in my journal page. So coffee dyed paper. I'm just gonna fold it in half because that will obviously go into my journal. And then <clears throat> I'm just gonna fold the short sides in first of all.
and then the long side. And fold my long side down. Okay. Now what I have to decide is make sure you fold it straight, Klaus, it doesn't work. Right. Okay. So that's that one. Fingers and thumbs folding these up for some reason. There's two. And then here is three. Okay. Right, I'm just going to run a little bit of ice spruce around the edges. This ice spruce just works so well with this kit. G's almost chosen exactly the same green, so it's just awesome. I did also get out a pinky purpley colour, and you can probably see on the side there that I have, or you could earlier, I've covered it up with paper now, that I have coloured some laces, so we'll have them to play with as well. feel like you should sing some kind of inking chart chant while you're doing this don't you well I do because we're inking and we're inking and we're inking some more <laughs> crazy yes I'm slowly going crazy call it old age you could have edged them in pink I've got the pink or oh, the pinky purpley colour out I just thought I would go with the green and I have actually printed this on slightly heavier uh, 120 gram navigator paper just in case anybody wanted to know right so Actually, no, let's see this one. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fold one of the side flaps out, okay? And I'm going to glue that on there. And then going to do the opposite side of that one and I'm going to glue that to the page as well and then this one will be this one again and the reason I'm doing this is because I want these to be almost like treble pockets so first things first I'm going to put a little bit of glue down Down this inside so a little bit of glue down there and glue that side up okay then I'm going to put glue just past the top bend look just past because we don't want it coming over the side 
Okay, so now we've got an envelope with, as it were, a missing flap. And then that missing flap, I am going to glue to my page. I'm going to glue it central, but fairly near the bottom. And what that is going to enable me to do is put something in there like a tag, but also to flap it open. Yeah, that's my plan. So that's that one. And then I am going to do this one next. Just want to make sure I've got the pattern running the right way. That's all. So that one up there slightly past that top point okay and then we're going to put that one slightly underneath because by putting it slightly underneath we hold that flap and it's an illusion of the eye that the flap's being held shut by this envelope yeah so glue that up and as I say offer that to there stick it down okay and then we're going to do exactly the same with the top one And also doing this, it means we don't lose all that lovely pattern on the back of the envelope, which obviously, oh, bum. See, you see what I did wrong? Can you see what I did there? Right, let's just quickly correct that because I want the flap the other side. Did you see what I did there? Yes, because I want it that side. So let's just bend that one. It doesn't matter. As long as you catch it before the glue dries. Okay, and then I'm gonna put this one at the very top. And then that means ah, that didn't work very well, did it? That's, sorry if I've jogged the camera, that's because there was that little bit of glue on there from where I did a, a boo-boo. I shouldn't say that really, should I? Because Madam will be up shouting. Right, so now you can see that what you've got is you've got your top flap, which is a pocket and secret journal in space. You've got your middle, and then you've got your bottom. One, two, three. Now, if you want to, you can take one of your smaller sides that we cut off when we did the envelopes. Um, we use that one, that looks nice. And just trim it down a smidgen so that it will fit on your page and it will cover up all of the flaps that we've just glued down. Right, we need to take a tiny bit more off of this side, just a tiny bit. Okay. Just like that. Okay, so 
Let's get a little bit more of a ice spruce around the edge here. Sure, got it up the right way. You don't want to do what I did. You've seen me many times almost glue things down upside down. You don't want that. Okay, let's now offer this to. So now we've got one, two, three, and we've got a pretty middle. So that's the first multi-pocket page that I wanted to do with you. Let's move these pieces out of the way and show you another one that I have in mind. So I'm going to choose some more paper. I'm going to choose this one and this one this time. And again, I'm going to take all my white edges off. Let's see if we can do two sheets at once. Save a little bit of time. Okay, so I'm going to use that as my page, so I'm going to fold that in half, just like so, I can do some stenciling or stamping on the back when we've got it in our journal, and this I'm going to use for my pockets, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half, Do it the other way. I'm going to fold it in half. Okay. And then I'm going to fold it in half. Do it this way. I'm going to fold it in half again. Okay. And then with that crease, I'm going to fold this edge bit. in <clears throat> right, I folded that a little bit too far so I'm just going to take a little bit off there okay just so that will fold in nicely okay so that will fold in there and sit like that and then this needs to fold just past so look it's hidden can you see fold it in so that it's just hidden like oh no that's not very straight is it need to get it quite straight there we go okay so I'm going to use my pink this time because we used the green didn't we last time so let's use our pink and go just right across the top 
and the side. Okay, across the bottom, up the other side. Across this top, or should I say down this side, whatever. Like so. Okay, like that. So, what we need to do now is we need to glue these down. Okay, so let's glue this flap and let's glue that in to the middle, like so. Okay, and then let's glue this flap in as well. Very simple multi pocket, this one. But very effective, I think. Put that down. Okay, glue that one down there. That comes over. And we're going to put glue on this edge at the top and at the bottom. Okay, bring it over. So now we've got a nice strong pocket there because that's double strength and then I'm going to bring my page in and I'm going to put it onto my page now you want it close to the spine edge so that you've got a nice pocket there because if you put it there yes you'll create extra pockets but you won't be able to get things in and out because of the spine okay so I'm just going to ink up this so we've got our matching pink Okay, like so, and then we're going to glue this in place. So I'm just going to give it probably oh an eighth of an inch, something like that, just so that it's not sitting on the spine. And you're going to glue the top and the bottom and down that one side okay and then you're just gonna offer that on like so and now what we've got is another three pockets let's get one of these so we've got one Sorry, another two pockets. Okay. So we've got three on this one that all flip and flap. And we've got two on this one. Now, the last one that I'm going to do with you is this one. So three pages of multi pockets. On this one, I'm going to choose, I think, this one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it just short of my page. So, lining it up with my folded page, okay like so and I'm just trying to get it as straight as I can and I'm going to tear it down there yep that looks good and then this side I'm going to take obviously the white off like so Go back to my green. I do love this green. Um, do these edges.
Okay, I'm going to leave that open. I'm going to use it again in a minute. And then I'm going to line this on my page and I'm going to give myself a nice deep pocket. So I'm going up about a third of a page. Yeah? Come back. Bend back on yourself. Like so. And then I'm going to go like that. And I'm going to fold it again. So what I've basically done is I've got, can you see, about an inch. Yeah? So fold it up, fold it down. And then when I put this on here, I said deep pocket. I didn't mean that that bit would be deep. I meant that I would have like a lot of height. That kind of deep. So then I'm just going to ink up that edge that we've folded. <coughs> Excuse me, and I'm going to get this stuff down. Okay, so we're going to stick a little bit of glue down both sides, like so. I'm going to bring that up, and then I'm just going to run a little bit of glue across there. Okay, so we've got a pocket there. And then, if we only glue down this side and across the bottom and back up the top, we'll give ourselves two pockets again because we've got the one pocket at the front and then when it sticks one pocket at the back okay so three pocket pages there look at that and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to bring in my other pages especially the ephemera ones and see what we can do with these now i'm thinking that these postcard ones would cut down nicely to go in my envelopes but full size they would go in there and then we can use some of the shapes to um, some of the shapes to decorate so I'm gonna pull that off there Pull this off here. I do love this one. Obviously, that's not thick enough to be like a journey card or a tag. It's gonna need to go um, to be backed. So I will back that on another layer. I'm just checking, you see, what size I want. Oh, that's totally crooked. Goodness me. That's better. So that will now fit in there. Perfect. So I'm going to take a piece off of that end. And I'm going to take a piece off of that end and although I know it needs backing that one will go in there look at that it just fits beautifully <coughs> excuse me so I can do that again with these so I take that off take that off oh. Trim these. Goes in there perfectly, I think. Yes. And then we'll just give that a little trim about there. And then that's that one. 
And then we've got one more is this one now I will back these off of camera because not only will I put some coffee dyed paper on the back but I'll put them through the sewing machine as well now obviously you don't need to do that if you don't want to or you could sometimes with G's kits what I do is the three ephemera pages I print onto cardstock so they start off that much thicker so then you don't have to worry about backing them why is that oh goodness me there we go there's obviously a little bit of glue under there And that goes in there all the way there so that's that's those three okay and now you've got something in their pockets I'm gonna quickly do these ones again I will back and sew these off of camera. And there's this one there. See? Fits there. And then we've got this lovely one here. There's another one there. Okay. And then we need at least one to go in here. That needs to be a little bit shorter. There you go, that's that one to go in there. And then I want to decorate them up a little bit. So let's start with the first one. Let's work through them in order. So on this one, it might be nice to have a little bit of this pink crochet. So, just gonna trim through there. Just get a little bit of that on there. So that needs to be trimmed. And just pop that on there. That adds a nice little bit of pink to it, doesn't it? And we're gonna pull that out. And we are going to put one of these green miniature doily circles on. So we've got a little pull point. So I'm going to just pop it on there, I think, like so. And if I put it on now, it'll make it nice and easy. Or should we put it on the front or should we put it on the back? No, I'm going to put it on the front, but I'm going to do it down the bottom, so it's a little bit odd, like that. 
and then I can stitch on top of it you see when I'm stitching so I'm going to pop that in there like so it's a nice pulley I'm going to give myself some glue here and I'm going to pop my crochet on there like so and then we've got a little tiny even smaller pink one which I'm going to put smack bang in the middle of this one again because I'll be able to sew it sew over it okay when I do my sewing so that one will go in there like so to make sure you don't catch that when sewing the spine so it might be an idea to um, maybe take that one out and stitch in the and then this one I'm going to put a little bit of square on so I just kept it all pink and green I'll probably ink around the edges of those as well so there is my three envelope flip pockets with internals okay now before I move on I want to trim out one of these I'm sorry about the noise outside the window trim out one of these butterflies I think the second largest one I'm going to take both of them. Um, yeah, I'm going to take the second largest one. I'm just going to quickly fussy cut this and then I'm going to get that on there as a little bit of decoration. I'm going to cut those antlers off because you can never fussy cut around them they always end up falling off or getting torn so I'm just going to start without them I think that's the easiest thing and then so as you can see I've not really done anything majorly new or rocket science today I've just used a beautiful kit to create some very practical pages for our, for our journals. Okay, give that a little bit of a pink edge, just using the foam that I took off. Okay, a bit more glue. There you go. So that's that page. That's going to be really, really pretty in any jet. Excuse me. Right. This one was the second one. I don't think I'm going to put anything on there or the back. It's going to be this front section. And I think what I'd like to do is I'd like to cut two of these out of here. We don't want that little bit, do we? And I'm gonna I'm gonna put these across the bottom. So they'll sit just sort of on the bottom there, and I'm gonna put butterfly through the middle. So Fussy cut this butterfly. Sorry, concentrating. <laughs> Got all quiet because I'm concentrating.
Oh, snip the collar off there. That wasn't very good, was it? Okay, and I'm just gonna just get this glued up again. I do like the butterflies on the lace. Okay. And I think I'm going to basically lay... Oh, hang on. What about if we did a nice little green bow? And bring some more green into it. That might be um, quite nice, mightn't it? So let's pull that down. Pull that down. I usually pull them really, really small and then big them up again a bit, if that makes sense. And I'm just going to trim that like that. And I think maybe we'll just do that one on the top there. We'll just put a little tiny bit there. And we'll just glue him down like so. Yeah, that's that one. And then on this one, I think we'll have one of these lovely shapes. I think I'm going to go for this shape here. Actually, 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 yes, okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fussy cut this. And I'm going to use it as a band. I'll show you what I mean. Seem to have lost my words today. I do apologise. Okay. Now, if we put this across here, like so, I'm wondering. If we can't put a few. tags in there let's have a little look see what happens right oh goodness me scissors bane of my life right tags in there like that yes I think that's gonna work obviously again they will need backing because they're not um, they're not hugely thick so I will do that as well a stitch around them like I have or I will the other stuff now we're just gonna get a little bit of glue on there we are going to pop that in there, like so. Ah, don't do that. That's really not a good idea. It's because that glue takes a little while to go off. Right, and then we're going to pop one, two, 
in fact you know what probably get all four in there numbers nice isn't it we'll just use the three so there you go then let's move all of that so this month i have used i'm going to put this one up there because it makes it really obvious i have used g's beautiful pink butterfly collection and so far bearing in mind i've still got pages left i've created the flip envelope three pocket page, the folded two pocket page and the folded one pocket page and it was from this beautiful pink butterfly kit. As always, thank you so much for joining me. Have great fun with your crafting products. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.